Hello there, I hope you are doing well. I am going to show you how to set up your mini camera A18 Plus. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I am going to uh, bring up now a video of on my phone here, and we're going to start from scratch. So first off, I'm going to just show you how I've got things set up here as far as Wi-Fi, um, because this will change. So, as you can tell, I am connected to the router named Camera Testing. Uh, everything that I am testing the camera with is outside of my normal use items, my normal network stuff, if you know what I mean. So, this has uh, got its own dedicated router for the testing, and, uh, and then, of course, its own dedicated mobile device. Uh, which I'm holding in my hand doing this video with. So uh, you will see many connections, believe it or not, most all of those. Uh, all but the bottom three are me. Is that sad or what? And I actually have more. <laughs> but all of, yeah, you see, all of the, yeah. So I got a lot of uh, Wi-Fi connections floating around through our home. So anyway... Um, I just wanted to let you know I am connected and we are connected for now to the internet. Now, we're going to get to that later in another video, but for now everything's normal as you would normally have it in your home. I just wanted to show that because I'm going to show you a little trick later on. So first off we need to get the proper application. So we are going to, do I have a Google Play there? No I didn't. thought I might have had one. I'm going to go to the Play Store here. And you are going to look for, and it's already there, but we're going to type it out anyway. H-I-D-V-C-A-M. That's Hotel India Delta Victor Charlie Alpha Mike. All right, H-I-D-V-C-A-M. So that's what you're going to want. And click on that. You see it right down there. We're going to click Install. We're going to let it download and install. And I've already got an account and everything, but we're going to start from go. And, uh, and that way you can see the entire process because that's, that's, after all, that's what the intent is. We are almost done downloading. Eighty two percent. Eighty nine. Nine to six and a hundred percent install that puppy and it is installed. So we're going to back back out of here and we are going to click on our newly installed app. Of course, we agree to any and all privacy policies that you know. And what we are going to do is click register. As I said, I already have an account, but we're going to register another account. That way I can show you. So first off, email. And I am going to use uh, the Watchman News. Uh, let's see, at yahoo.com. Watchman News at yahoo.com. Now they are going to want to send you a verification code. So I'm going to click get the code. I'm going to step over to my computer real quick. You are timed, so you know. You don't have forever in a day. They do give you a time limit. And this is going to be our code. And it is 680371. 680371. Okay. Now it says password. And I'm just going to use my password for these purposes. Going to do that again. My password. Okay, and uh, 
click done. There is a I have and read agreed to the user terms we have to select. And I chose to remember the password. We're going to click sign up. 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 So I used my password. I'm going to add a number one at the end of that because it said that I had to have a number. We're going to try that again. So my password one is going to be our password there. Yay! No, we don't want to remember it. And it says it's running and yeah, 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 yeah. So it tells you to click on the plus sign up top to add a device. And we're going to click I know because I did already know. And so we have now the app installed. We are registered. The next step is to actually connect the camera to the device. So we are going to click that plus sign in the top right, as they said. And you can either add the device by scanning the code, which would probably be the super, super simple, easy way to do it. Or you can add by the camera's hotspot. I'm going to show you how to add by the camera's hotspot. And uh, you might want to use the code because it makes it that much easier. I am going to click next and allow that. And it says, please power on the device. So we are going to come over to the device here. Let me put my phone down. Move the box out of the way here, along with the little stand I had holding it up. All right, and we're just going to power it on. I'm going to hold down the button there, and it is powered on. We're going to click Next on the device. It says, please restore the device to factory settings. So we want to hold the reset button for six seconds, which I've already done this, but we'll do it again. We're going to hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, and then the light went out, and we're going to let it go, okay? Now, we're going to click Next on the app. Now, it is asking uh, for the Wi-Fi connection, and so I am, uh, it is on camera testing. That's the correct network. Now, I will tell you that it's 2.4, so I want to... Uh, let you know that you have to make sure that when you are connecting this that you are doing so over a 2.4 gigahertz network not your 5g wi-fi network your 2.4 g network i just want to make that very very clear obviously the image you see on the page should tell you that but yeah, we'll just say anyway and my wi-fi password is my Password. Imagine that. I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So my password, and we are going to click next. It says please confirm. Blah 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 blah. And yeah, I did. Click next to connect the device hotspots. Select the device hotspot at the beginning of IPC, as shown in the figure below. After the connection is successful, manually return to the app to automatically distribute the network. You got you got all that, right? You you, you did? Oh, okay. So what 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 they're saying is click connect device to access point and we're going to be looking for a device that starts out with IPC. There it is. It popped right up and see it's actually saved in my device, but I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click connect successfully connected to the access point please return to the configuration interface all right hopefully you caught that so basically i'm just going to click the back button and now you're going to see it doing a countdown and what it is doing it is connecting the uh basically the camera to the wi-fi router and then of course it will also put it into the phone uh or mobile device you're using and will allow you to bind it okay so and it just it you just got to let it count down and do its thing it uh i do think that it can come up quicker in fact i think it's probably about ready to do it in just a moment i think it can come up quicker than taking the entire time yeah see 
Oh, now it says abnormal Wi-Fi information detected on mobile phone. Please make sure Wi-Fi name which the phone is connected is camera testing. Uh huh. It tried to connect to my my uh my my camera, my DJI Pocket. Now it's binding the device. Sorry. Sorry for that. Now it's connected successfully. It's binding the device and it's telling me to name it, right? So, uh, we are just going to uh, put home. I'm just going to click on the home, make home. We're going to click confirm just so we can get this in and bound. So it says modify successfully. It says device has been added successfully. Please test Wi Fi signal strength for better user. Experience. So we're going to click confirm. Place the device and mobile phone close to the location where the camera is installed, and then click next. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're all in the living room. The, <laughs> the router's on the table that the camera's sitting on. It says I've got a strong signal, and it's trying to load the camera view. And you do have a wonderful view. Of the tablecloth. Do you not? And a little white piece of plastic there that's on the tablecloth. So we're completed. We are connected. And uh, we are bound. So we're going to click on the play icon. And of course you see the camera. I'll stick my fat finger there. Okay. Um, so you got that. That's all good. You are connected. You are ready. It already says recording. What? Yeah. I uh, I do have a 32 gigabyte SD card that I did put in. I showed, I believe I showed that on the unboxing video uh, that I put a card in. It didn't come with it. Um, so out of the box, I just registered. I just connected the camera and did it. it it's, it's already working now. It's already working now. So we can actually click back, back and go here and click on record play. And it will bring up, these are the videos so far that it has shot, see? And it does, so it'll do it in uh, one hour when it's, uh, after it's recorded for an hour, and you'll, it, it'll show you on this page here, each hour broken down, okay? And then when you click on that and open up, see how it says 8 to 8.59? That's an hour. So I click on that and open it up and these will actually wind up being 10 minute files each. So is, uh, is how that will work. And so we'll do it. It'll record 10 minutes and then start a new 10 minute file and a new 10 minute file. And it does that. It's really nice how it's set up. It's very simple, very straightforward. And that's why I was saying that's why I liked it. But I want to do something before we go any further. And this is more or less the final step for getting your, your self-registered connected to the camera and stuff like that. But make sure to do this step because the cool trick that I am going to show you that I figured out how to use this in more or less a closed loop system, extremely portable, I'm going to be showing you. But you want to make double and triple sure that you have your password in here. And again, we are going to make that my password. Because, and then we're going to click confirm. Oh, it says the two passwords are inconsistent. Try that again. Okay, modify successfully. So, passwords in there. So, we're good to go there. And uh, so, basically, what that's going to be is so that we can still connect to the device when it's offline. Okay, and that I'm going to show you in a later video. And again, I'll show you a really cool, easy way you can make this super portable and... Uh, I don't know. I think that's pretty awesome. So that's it for this particular video. This video was just to show you how to get registered, how to get set up, how to get working. Stay tuned for more videos on how to use this device and tips and tricks.
to use it in ways that uh, may be beneficial for the preparedness minded. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Shalom.